God bless you, everybody. So I'm just going to come on here for a quick minute and just basically um, tell you what the Lord said was what the Lord said to me uh, while I was praying. And um, sometimes God speaks to me in Spanish. Um, it's uh, a part of a bigger part of my uh, my life that hasn't been revealed uh, uh, thoroughly yet. But um, every now and then he'll he'll um, talk to me in Spanish in little short phrases or maybe just one word. And um, and I don't know Spanish, not like that. I know it a little bit, but um, so a lot of times I'll have to go and look up the words. But this time he said to me, and it's funny because it was in Spanglish, but this is what he said. Desde anoche, hope springs eternal. So he said half of the phrase in Spanish and the other half in English. And um, so basically it's what he's saying is from the night, hope springs eternal. So what God is saying is that there will be times in your life where um, things just look dark. It's like nighttime in your life, you know, when the Bible says joy comes in the morning, it's, it's, um, it's, um, basically like a metaphor. It's not really talking about like the actual morning, although it could come actually in the morning. Um, but it's telling you that nighttime is synonymous with pain, you know, and hurt. So this is going out to the folks that have lost all hope, the folks that feel like their life is over, like, you know, maybe in my 20s, I could have recovered, but now I'm, you know, 50 and or 40 or whatever. And it's over for me. It's over for me. Um, maybe you're coming off of just you know, whatever, a career collapse. Maybe you were in a job and, you know, the job went under, you know, through no fault of your own. And, you know, you had to be, you had to get a severance package, even if that, you know, maybe you work somewhere in a factory for 20 years and all of a sudden they're closing their doors down. And now it's like, you got to start all over. And, you know, you are a man or a woman of God and you're just like, God, you know what I mean? I've been serving you and, and, and this happens to me, you know, or, you know, maybe you are in a marriage and that marriage ended and it's like, you know what? I have been faithful to my, my spouse and I've been there. I've supported them. I may not have been, you know, the best, but I certainly wasn't, you know, the, the most horrible spouse. And now I'm getting into you know, divorced or I am divorced and I'm on my own again at 40 years old or at 50, 60. And you thought, you know, you were going to live your life with that person forever. And now it's like, you're starting all over again. And maybe you've lost hope for either reconcile reconciliation or hope for, um, you know, is God going to send me another, uh, another wife or another husband? And you feel like, you know, I'm not 20, I'm not 30, um, I, I'm done because, you know, most of, most of the people, when they get married, it's, you know, they're in their twenties or maybe early thirties, you know? So it's like, maybe you feel as though all hope is just lost. Like you feel as though like you never can dream again, like your dreams are just dashed, you know, insert your own issue. Because if you're listening to this, this is most likely for you. Um, insert your own issue of what could have possibly, you know, happened. Or maybe it's the death of a, a loved one, you know, and, and it wasn't like you had time pre to prepare. It was just all of a sudden. And, you know, all your, your, your hopes and dreams are just dashed. Um, or maybe it's a child that is, is strung out on drugs or something. And, you know, you're just like, I ne I didn't raise my child like that. I, could, I couldn't imagine that my child would be, you know, on drugs. And you hear the reports about how hard it is to, 
to come off of drugs and you have people telling you, you know, it, you know, yeah, someone so finally got clean, but it took them 20 years, but they did so much damage to their body that, you know, even though they came clean, they died, they died shortly after, you know, you hear all types of stuff and it's just like, wow, you know, you kind of lose hope, you know, even in my own situation, um, there was a time where I was looking for a job and I was just like, God, you, you know, you wanted me to, to, to be in this career and I'm looking for this job and I can't find one. And it's taken so long, you know, and you kind of like just lose hope after a while, you know, like, dang, you know, I don't think I'm going to, you know, is this going to work out? You kind of lose hope. And, and, and meanwhile, the bills are due, <laughs> you know what I mean? Meanwhile, you know, your kids still got to eat. They still got to, you still got to get the car maintenance and it's just a lot going on. So it's like, and it's just chaos. And for a lot of you, it's not just one thing. It's it's the other too. It's like, okay, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm out of a job. Okay. That's one thing. Oh, the spouse left. That's another thing. And then you, um, and, and and now the car is breaking down and it seems like, OK, why didn't the car break down when I was making the good money? And and now the, the 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 washing machine doesn't work anymore. It's on and on and on and it just doesn't stop. And um, you're just like one thing after the other. And it's like chaos. So but God is wanting to tell you that all out of this darkness. Out of this time where it feels like you're in a season of winter when everything seems to be dying and dead and nothing seems to be growing and springing forth god is wanting to tell you that out of this hope is going to spring eternal out of this god is going to give you a hope just like it says in jeremiah um that famous scripture that he's going to give you a hope that you're going to be hoping for something because if you don't have anything to hope for then what what left is there to do you're going to become de depressed and you're going to start thinking those thoughts you know the thoughts I'm talking about um you're going to get depressed and you're going to feel like what is there to live on for if there's no hope that's why hope is a very important hope is a very important in our lives we have to have hope um if we don't have hope then we feel like what is the point of going on, you know? And if we really want to be honest, can we be real? A lot of us have felt that, yes, we were um, saved, set free, and delivered. But a lot of times, a lot of us have been pushed to our limit, have been pushed to the point where uh, we were at the end of ourselves, where we felt like, you know, wow, God, I trust you, but whoa, I don't see how I'm going to come out of this one. You know, but God is saying that he's giving you a hope that out of the darkness is going to spring forth hope. You're going to, God is going to set things in order and he's going to, and he's going to start showing you things. He's going to start showing you things to hope for, um, so that you can dream again, so that you can, um, start to just fantasize again about like when you were a little girl or you was a little boy and you were like oh when I grow up I want to do this and I want to do this and this and this and you think that it's just too you know it's too far gone for that I'm 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 30 I'm 40 I'm 50 I'm 60 ain't nobody dreaming no more like uh, I'm not a little kid anymore and you thought that that was that time was over for you but God is going to bring you back to a point when you back to a point when you used to dream and when you used to have desire to to do um, whatever it is, a career or to be married or whatever it is, God is going to give put back the desires in your heart that you thought were gone. And um, and you're going to dream again. God is going to give you that hope again. Um, and what comes to mind is the very first uh, scripture written in uh, Genesis chapter one. In the beginning, the earth was null and void without form. And, and darkness covered the earth. So, and we know right now, if you're listening to this, you're a human being and you're living inside of this earth. You know right now that the earth 
is not null and void and without form. There's lots of beauty in the earth today. And I can't imagine what it looked like, you know, when God got through forming it, forming it. But in Genesis chapter one, the earth was null and void without form and darkness covered the earth. So, but out of that darkness, God created something beautiful. God created something beautiful. So I want you to know that out of the darkness that's in your life, that out of the, the pain and despair and all the different things that has happened to just make you feel like there's no, there's no point in dreaming again, all of the hurt and all the pain, that God is going to use that very same hurt and pain and turn it around to make something beautiful. So go ahead and hope again. Because sometimes we get so beaten down that we're like, well, I don't even want to hope no more. It's too hard to hope. Y'all ever hear that? It's too hard to hope because I don't want to, I don't want to hope anymore. And then my, uh, the new dreams that I dream get, get, you know, get ripped to shreds. So I don't even want to hope anymore. But God is saying, go ahead and hope, go ahead and dream, go ahead. And God is going to bring it to pass. He's going to bring something beautiful out of it. Well, what if it don't turn out the way that I want it to turn out? What if what if it doesn't um it doesn't ha- happen with the things that I'm I'm dreaming? Listen, you got to trust God. Maybe maybe it doesn't turn out the way that um you want it to turn out, but it can, it's going to turn out so much far better. You got to trust God with your happiness. You got to know that God is going to he is he is just going to create something beautiful, something far above what you were even thinking or imagining. And you're going to be happy. You 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 get to a point where so much has happened in your life that you feel as though I don't think I ever going to be happy. You ever hear that? You ever hear that like even in the movies, I don't I ain't, I don't know that I'm ever going to be happy again. You got to trust God. You know that you've been serving the Lord. You know you haven't turned away from him. In fact, you've turned towards him during all this. And God is not going to turn his back on somebody that has kept their 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 um knees to the ground and has kept themselves turning to the Lord. So why would he go ahead and turn his back on you? And you're going to be so fulfilled. You're going to be so happy. And you have to believe that. You, maybe you can't you, you you can't conceive it of it in your mind, but you know that but you must know that it's going to happen that you are going to be happy happy maybe not the way that you thought that you was going to be happy, but God is going to do it God is going to do it so and I just want to you know I, I just I thank the Lord for you guys and um share this for for anybody who's feeling like they don't have a hope feeling like they don't have um just anything or anyone in the world share this for um the people of god they need to know they need to know um that the lord loves them and that the lord is creating something beautiful he's creating just like he did with the earth in genesis chapter one out of all that cra- craziness, you know, because you get to a point, you just like, God, you know, everything is a mess. Everything is out of order. Uh, you know, from one thing, from home life to job life to personal life to everything, everything is all in chaos. But remember, the earth was also in chaos because it didn't have, it was without form. That means everything was everywhere. And God put that earth back together piece by piece and in steps. You know, so on the first day he did this and the second day he did that and da, 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 he did it in steps. And that's the same way that he's going to put your life to, together. He's going to do it in steps. He's going to build a foundation. Then he's going to build up the wall and then he's going to put the roof on top. And then he's going to put the, the icing on the cake and the decorations. And it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. It's all going to be set in order. It's all going to be set in order. Believe it. Believe it. You know, but.